A An ni escape artist. 90 yeah. degrees right now. We're <laughs> expecting temperatures in the hundreds later this week. Yeah, I think, you know, we've already done it one time this year, but I think we could potentially do it two more times before the week is done, if you can believe that. So that'll be some of our hottest weather that we've seen in years, especially when we stack that heat back to back. Well, this morning we had a beautiful start to the day. We had those clear skies. We had that haze in the skies over the weekend. There was smoke from wildfires far away, and it created a gorgeous sunrise. As our coin tower camera outsides right now, you can see that things have really blued up. I mean, it was kind of a brown sky over the weekend. It's more blue today. 90 degrees the current temperature. And if you have the window open, which you may or may not, based on whether you have AC, you should be feeling a breeze come through the house about now. This is a gusty breeze along the Columbia River, but a lot of places it's really kicked up. You know what that is? That's some ocean air finally getting inland. And I think in the next hour, we'll see this temperature really start to drop. And it will be a pretty comfortable evening because we're getting that kick of ocean air. Right now, though, Hillsboro 93. That was your high today. Aurora 93. 91 in Portland, our high, and 90 in Troutdale. So we've just got heat all over the place. Even hotter as you go to Salem, 96, your high temperature. Wow. Triple digits for the Dalles and Pendleton and Medford. So we've just been cooking. And as I say, I don't think these are the hottest numbers that we're set to see this week. Now, a weak disturbance right here. It's, it's kind of tough to pick out, but I've circled it. It's this little line of clouds. This thing gets close to us overnight tonight and tomorrow. This actually cools us a little bit. It brings in some morning clouds and it helps increase the ocean breeze overnight. So tomorrow, I think our breezes from the northwest, we're on the cool side of things. But Wednesday through Friday, all of a sudden, we switch back to that hot northeast breeze. It's the one that helped get us to triple digits, you know, nine days ago. And this kicks in again along with this wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. And I think we're set for a repeat of a triple-digit heat. So let's talk about tomorrow first. This is our coolest day of the week. Tomorrow is 60 out the door with areas of morning clouds, 71 and mostly sunny at lunchtime, 84 for a high temperature. That is going to feel great to only be 84 tomorrow. If that's still too warm, Seaside at 70 and Newport at 65 with afternoon sun. 88 for those of you in uh, Salem tomorrow. So that'll be eight degrees cooler than today. 90s to about 100 in central and eastern Oregon. Uh, through the gorge, it'll be breezy in the afternoon for wind surfers, that ocean breeze, a west wind there. 74 at government camp. I mean, virtually perfect. It was that warm today up at Timberline. It's just amazing to me. Uh, here's what goes on in the metro area. 59 out the door, 84 for a high temperature tomorrow. We do have those patchy morning clouds. I think a lot of us will see them. And then it's sunny but cooler because we get that ocean breeze coming in. So tomorrow, for a lot of us, could be the nicest day of the week. 84 in Tigard, 85 in Lake Oswego. Now we cruise over to Clackamas County. Clackamas, you'll be 84. And Damascus at 83. And up to Clark County, where 84 should do it for Vancouver and Battleground. And those of you in Salmon Creek hit 82 in the afternoon. So here's our seven day forecast. We're warming back up on Wednesday to the 90s. We're at 99 on Thursday in Portland. We may hit 100, but I've got us at 99 right now. And then look at Friday, 100 degrees. So realistically, with this forecast, Thursday and Friday could both be triple digits where you live. It might even happen in Portland. And we haven't done that uh, since 2009. So it's been a few years since we've had back to back triple digits, but it's going to be, you know, we had that story about the air conditioners. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be a busy week. If you're an air conditioner repair person, mm -hmm. it's going to be a crazy one for this you. This is your oh. Super Bowl. Th yeah. This is yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think they kind of like this weather. Oh, I, yeah. They probably do. It's a personal <laughs> challenge. And cha-ching, cha-ching. Cha right. Yeah. Thanks, Bruce. All right.